Catan in their road lights. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's game is being broadcasted live. If you have friends or family unable to make it to tonight's game, go ahead and call or text them now. They can tune in to YouTube at Hilltop Athletics. Once again, that's the Hilltop Athletics channel on YouTube for tonight's live play-by-play. -play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to joining us here at Hilltop High School. You got the beautiful sunset in the background. It's going to make for a little bit difficult viewing for a little bit till that sun goes down, but we are good. And here we go, ready to kick off. And a kickoff travels down and into the end zone for a touchback. And that's Hilltop into the end zone for a touchback. That's the freshman, number 88, Manuel Carlos, with the kickoff touchback. And El Capitan will start with their first offensive series on their own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hilltop High School. This is the second game of the season, non-league game between two undefeated teams. Both are 1-0 on the season. Here we go. El Cap is set. Three receivers to the right of your screen. Two running backs in the backfield. There's one in motion. Oh. Man in motion gets the ball. 52. 52 with the tackle. On the tackle, number 52. On the tackle, number 52 for the Lancers. That's Nicholas Leia. All right, so it's not two in the backfield. It's the quarterback in shotgun with the running back next to him and a running back about halfway under center. Here we go. So quarterback is right there, even with the man in the backfield. Two runner, two receivers on the right. We're going to have either a false start or encroachment. And the first flag of the game goes against Hill Capitan. It is all start. It'll be a five yard walk off. It'll remain second down. It'll be second down and ten. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Welcome to the broadcast. Two receivers to your right, one at the top of your screen there, and there is a handoff. And they'll have another flag right away. We're going to have an offsides or enforcement. Ball, offsides. That penalty will go against the Lancers. That'll be offside. We'll just walk it five yards back. Still will be second down. It'll be second down to five. All right. Early in the game, two penalties right away. Just not paying attention there. Here we go. Second down and five. El Capitan, same lineup here. No, quarterback is under center to Hand off to the deep man. Has a hole. Gets the first down and more. That's a first down. That's Angel Diaz on the run. First down, El Capitan to the 35. First and 10. I got 28. Yeah, I can't tell you. It's two something. All right, here we go. Quarterback and shotgun one. Running back behind him on four. Here's a quick handoff up the middle. Finds a hole. Gets the first down. Another handoff up the middle for no cap. Picks up the first down and a little more. On the run there, number 10, Aiden Venegas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, we're just starting. Here we go. We're in the first drive up again. El Capitan is in the right, on your right. Hand off to Diaz. Diaz is piled up. Hand off to Diaz. He picks up two yards. Ten. Ten was the runner? Yep. Ten to the tackle. No scratches. Ten. ten to the tackle? Yep. Oh. On the tackle, number ten for the Lancers. Sebastian Calera. We're going to 
hear 10 and 18 a lot on defense for the Lancers. All right, for the Lancers, you're going to have Blair and Washington a lot being called on defense. We'll get others that will get in there, get to the outside there. Oh, we weren't able to get the feet, we didn't knock them out of bounds. Let's turn that on that one. Can you see who the runner was? The shorter one. Go defense! The numbers are in gold and on the white jersey, they don't stand up. I can't see it, I'm sorry. Second hit? Yeah. It'll be second down and eight. Whether I get us in the Lancer territory on the 41. All right, Vaqueros, four receivers, two at the top, two at the bottom of the screen. One in motion coming towards you. Quick bank goes the opposite way. Nice job. Lancers gets a wrap up and let's go. He's on the run. Right there, I can't see. I can't be On the tackle for the Lancers, number 71, Andrew Martinez. El Capitan with a pickup and will bring it up. Third down and four for the Vaqueros. Quarterback number seven, Grant Barker. Okay, the Vaqueros set with three receivers to the bottom of the screen, one at the top, one running back, even with, he's going to set to block. Good rush, pass over the top, dump to the running back. He's going to get the first down. And a dump pass to the running back. Good for a first down for the Vaqueros. Inside the 40, down to the 38 of the Lancers. That'll be a first down for El Capitan. Come on, D! This is how El Cap got a lot of yardage off of yeah, Passing to the running back just like that. Screen pass. He has blocking out of bounds, pushed out of bounds number one. That's George Garcia pushing the McCandles out of bounds. Pick up of some yards, it will bring up. The third down. Second. Second down. Second down. Second down and three. That's the Lancers number 71, Andrew Martinez, with the tackle for a loss. With that tackle, El Cap was looking at third down and seven. Luis! 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 Defense! Sorry, folks, you hear me yelling at times. Okay. One guy to beat wraps him up. Good to take him down. The pass is complete. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. We'll bring up fourth down and seven for the McKellis. Sorry, folks, if you hear me yelling out into the stands, I'm also leading the student section. It's still new in the season. They're still learning what to do. Okay, the Vaqueros are going to go for it. Luis! Yeah. Adam backed up. They bring it down, they stop. And the Lancers defense hold. Hilltop will take over on down. On the run, number 29. That was Angel Diaz. On the tackle for the Lancers, number 24, Adrian Mendez. All right, coming in for your Lancers. Led by senior quarterback number one, George Garcia. Last week, Garcia had a game that put down the stake, the exclamation point, set the bar. You name it, he had a game. He was playing next level. You can tell a year under his belt, playing his junior quarterback taking the knocks now. He had such a good game reading. Let's see if he can continue that into a second game. A little confusion there for the Lancers. 
A man in motion. There's a pitch out to number 22 for the Lancers. That's Mason Vecchetto. Pitch out to number 22, Mason Vecchetto. Tackle for a big loss. Do we have who got the tackle? 42. On the tackle for the Vecchetto is number 42. We don't have a name, ladies and gentlemen. We just have a number. No, it's not you. You didn't give me the roster. The Vaqueros know that Hilltop is a running team based on last week. Let's see what happens now. Garcia holds it, reads it. Gets back to, oh, gets back just past the line of scrimmage pickup of two. George Garcia on the quarterback, Reed. Picks up yards, gets past the original line of scrimmage. And brings up third down and eight for the Lancers. Number. 27 on the tackle. On the tackle. 27? Yeah. 27, Boston Cordero. The ones that are highlighted are the ones that have led the team on different steps. Got it. Last week. Here we go, man in motion for the Lancers. Turns. Garcia looking to pass. Garcia has a man. Some blood in them, it's 18. And off to Tyron Washington. A loss of one on the field. We'll bring up second down and one for the Lancers. Last Tyron Washington and Sebastian Calera switched off, traded off at running back. Both of them had amazing games. The trifecta between the two of them and George Garcia really led the offense. Offensive line did a great job last week as well. Always the unsung heroes of the offensive lines for each team, or the defensive lines. Here we go, Lancer set. Two receivers on the bottom, right side of the screen, one to the top, man in motion, turn. Garcia with the ball, Garcia with the hole! And they tackle Garcia forward for another five yards. And that's George Garcia with the quarterback three. And ladies and gentlemen, that is another Lancers first down. You gotta love when a team that you're playing against, the opposite team, tackles your man forward for an extra three, four, five yards. You hate it when it's your team doing the tackling. And that time the Raquettos had George decided to wrap him and turn him. And in doing so, Gabe, what do you think, Coach? Four more yards? At least. All right, we're giving love here. Coach Gentry is in the booth spotting, helping out. Great job. We love our Coach G. All right, here we go. Inside handoff. Positive yard. Inside handoff for the Lancers. See who that is? For the big boys. 34. 34 to run. That was number 34, Luis Mendoza with the run for the Lancers. Coming in, Tyron Washington. All right, Hilltop looking at a second down. It looks to be second just inside the five, so a second and goal for the Lancers. Washington, he was met. Nice. Hand off to Washington, met right away. That was number 13, Dominic Deja for the Vaqueros. First in on that tackle. Coming in the game, number three, that's Nick Moore. 
I have Nick in one of my classes. Excellent young man. Super funny. Hungry for the football. Has been battling a hand and wrist injury. Had a couple catches last week. Garcia's looking what he can do. Has a pitch out. There's the man into the end zone. Touchdown, Lancer! What a beautiful job by Garcia drawing them all into him and at the last second pitching the ball out to Bacchiano who did a great job of staying patient and not getting too far ahead and then getting to that end zone. And the point out of the this is a great man in the Bongos. Give me some beautiful sunset here at Hilltop High School. You will see some of the most beautiful sunsets you will see anywhere in a high school stadium here at Hilltop. I was worried about Mason because he started to stutter step instead of running straight to the end zone. Almost cost him. If he took another stutter step, he would not have got in. And they would have got that strip because they stripped him right after he went in. Yeah. Yep, right. All right, here we go. Pablo's ready to kick off with a beautiful sunset. We're just going to keep enjoying that. Every team makes special teams for Hilltop because of Coach Kurt Grunts. All his trick plays, they have no idea what he's going to run, and they got to spend hours each week prepping for Hilltop's special team. There's a kick through the hands into the end zone. And the second kick out from Andrew Pablos into the end zone for a touchdown. And El Cap will start on their own 20 yard line. Vaqueros coming to the line, their second offensive series. It is 7-0 Hilltop. Hilltop held El Capitan the first offensive series. Went down and scored on their own. Quarterbacks back to pass. First pass. Incomplete. Incomplete. We'll bring up second and ten. The quarterback is a different number right now. It was seven the first drive. I think it's this guy right here. What's this guy number one yet? I can't see it. He's under seven. Under seven. Here we go. Hand off. Nice move. Get some running room. Gets up close to the first down, maybe more. Yeah, moving chains. And that's a first down for El Capitan up to the 30 yard line. Nice move by the running back. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry we cannot see the numbers that well from up here. Is it 14 the quarterback? 11? That's about getting 11 or 14. Eleven, Bruce Newland. All right, Bruce Newland in the quarterback. He had their top numbers last week. That's why I thought he was starting today. He had seven. Newland hands off to twenty-one. That's Ryder Lynn. Quarterback Newland hands off to Ryder Lynn. 
Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Really Second down and like ten. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, the score is 7-0 Hilltop. We have about three seconds left in the first quarter. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the first quarter with the score, El Capitan 0, Hilltop 7. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just like that, first quarter is over. That is a quick first quarter. We'll come up and get a little more sunset. All we need is a little Jimmy Buffett play in the background. <laughs> Hamburger Paradise. Oh, yeah. Alright, so it is 7-0. We had uh, Hill, Hill Capitan started off with kickoff, came all the way down to the Lancers, around the Lancers 3rd yard line. They went for it on 4th down. Hilltop stopped them. And then Hilltop drove close to 70 yards all the way down. George Garcia with the shovel pass. Er, the shovel pass is scored. So yeah, you, can, you can shovel pass behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Shovel pass to the outside. Right as he was about to get tackled, he drew everybody in. And at the last minute, passed it out to Mesa Vaquero, who scampered in right over the goal line for the Lancers' first touchdown. And then capped off with Daniel Pablos, the freshman, with the point after. Fight up, 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 Get some cheerleaders some love there. Okay. All right, here we go. Quick pass to the left side. Has a man open. Beats the first tackle. Spins around. And then you get a team effort coming there. Pass is complete to the left side. Positive yards. Oh, Nine yards on the play. We'll bring up second down and one for Okay, the Lancers have two receivers we went to a lot last week. That was Isaac Mesa and Nick Moore. Well, not a lot, but uh, two receivers. Timeout on the field, El Capitan. Their first charge, timeout of the half. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's go ahead and introduce you to the Lancer cheerleaders. Here we go. Captain Senior, Kylie Bosplu, Haley Boyna, Captain Denise Cadena Estrella, Asrayas Cardenas Zamudio, Liana Carrasco, Valerie Erickson, Alexia Estrada, Zoe Garcia Vargas, Dalia Guerrero, Francis Gutierrez, Mia Martinez, Captain Holly Hampton, Destiny Jones, Ron Jones, Richard Lefe, Amelia Monaroff, we'll get right back to her. And El Capitan with the first down. And here we go, the rest. Jasmine Monares, Fatima Morales, Alenia Rodriguez, Alicia Sofia, Samantha Alicia, Sofia Van Dyke, and Christina Vasquez, ladies and gentlemen. The El Varsity Chair is coached by seven-time national champion, and CIF Division I champion, Maria Ruggieri joining us for the first time. It is 7-0, Hilltop in the lead. We just started the second quarter. If you are a Lancer fan and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. That allows us to continue bringing live events to you. If you're from El Cap, just join us. Glad you're here, glad we can provide a broadcast for you. 
Pass is incomplete to the right side. Is that number nine intended receiver? Yes. The intended receiver, number nine, Chancellor Chalpa. I'm really curious, ladies and gentlemen. It probably is, considering where we're talking about. Remember San Diego Padres? Native American from El Capitan, where Chapa was in the minor league system, I believe he had a stroke. And the Padres kept him on their roster. Um, amazing young man, Every, all the stories we heard about him. Wondering if this is a nephew, a cousin, a younger brother. Newland's pass is complete over the first tail marker in the Lancer territory. And that's Lachapa with the catch. If anybody from El Cap is joining us that knows the story there, we would love to hear about it. Remember following that story years ago with the older Lachapa. All right, here we go. El Cap is on a drive. We're in the Lancer territory. Here's Newland rolling out to his left. Has a man receiver right there, right close to the first down marker. Newland's pass is complete to the left side. And yes, that's a first down for El Cap. On the Lancer's 34 yard line. And off up the middle. Another first down. On the tackle for the Lancer, that's Freddie Fleck. And that's another first down for El Cap. And off up the middle. Come on, defense! This one right there next to him looks like it's 29 Diaz. Okay, we got a double stack, triple stack on the right side. Hand off to Diaz. Nolan with the hand off to Diaz. Diaz looks like he picks up one yard on the play. Love the Lancer green uniforms. Coach Wagner is huge on tradition, wants green and white only. You can definitely tell the numbers when it's a green uniform with white. Uh, it'll talk a little bit of time now on the field. Why did Hilltop have to talk to him out? Because he had an extra one on the field. And they had to call it before the ball was snapped and we took the penalty. That looked good. I don't want to call it, but I think it was number 22 coming out. Um, Mason Vecchetto. I could be wrong on that. Could have been Jason Solario, just number two. We'll see. Um, 7.29 remaining in the first half. It is 7-0 Hilltop. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you're joining us from somewhere around the nation, outside of San Diego, California, go ahead and put in the comments. Let us know where you're coming from. Give a shout out. We appreciate you joining us tonight for the broadcast. It is 7-0. Hilltop in the lead. 7.29 remaining in the first half. This is El Cap's second offensive series. They've driven the ball down to the Lancers. About 16 yard line. Here we go, Newland back to pass. He goes screen back pass, far, screen, screen pass. pass. Has the open man, has speed, gets the first down. down and more. Newland drops back and dumps it over for a screen pass. And El Cap picks up the first down. It'll be first and goal inside the Lancers. 10 yard line. All right, Savvy Gaming. Savvy Gaming, I love it. Says they're from Ohio. 
All right, it'll be first and goal on the seven for the Lancers. Let's see if that defense can hold up right now. Here we go. Two receivers to the left of your screen. One alone to the right. We got an eye formation. Hand off, 29, Diaz ducks, and they get on the low. Hand off to Diaz and tackle low by number five, Damian Zapata. Class of 2019 station in Florida. Give me a shout out for my brother, George. Jesse Garcia. Hey, Jesse, thank you for serving us. Station there in Florida, your brother, George. Had an amazing game last week and would see a great game this week. And on, put down on the one yard line, it'll be put down in goal. Oh, yeah. George Garcia definitely having a standout to the beginning part of this year. Then we'll get to see him in basketball season and then at the end of the year in baseball. Come on! He is one of the three sport gentlemen here at Hilltop. Alright, here we go. Goal line defense. There's the handoff. Diaz. And he's going to push in. Nice. Hold him. The Lancers defense holds on the goal line. That'll bring up fourth down and goal. I'm 
We have one minute, seven seconds left, ladies and gentlemen, in the half. He'll top up 7-0. They are moving. They just had a beautiful fourth down goal line stance. In fact, it was three plays in a row from the goal line. The defense came up strong, kept the Vaqueros out of the end zone, and from the one-yard line, Garcia has moved his offense all the way down into El Cap territory on El Cap's 42-yard line. Isaac Meza having a big catch. Um, Mason Vaquero having a big catch. Doing some great yardage there. Now they have a minute seven. They got to manage the clock. They have one timeout remaining. And they need to get the ball either through the uprights or into the end zone and head into this half with more than just a seven point lead. Yeah, they were all, they're going all the, you know, flipping homes and you know, they're going to a lot of money going on. Yes, a lot of money. Right, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, we started our business in February and we were going to clear like probably almost half a million of these. And off to the boys' side. El Cap tackles and answers inbound, keeps the clock moving. Oh, you work on more deals than you do. Second down. Almost intercepted, it will be incomplete. Great job by George Garcia. The ball was on the ground. He could have just dropped on it. Instead, he got up, scrambled free, got a pass down. Unfortunately, it was incomplete. And luckily for the Lancers, it was in the hands of an El Cap defensive player and wasn't able to hold on to it. It will bring up third down and three for the Lancers. Um, so you're to knock this up in that area. Everyone's just calling in there. Oh, she buys a new flipper? W! Oh, Incomplete pass, but we got four to seven. Oh, Good relations with the county inspectors? Are you doing six day a week working? Or? Hilltop trying to get over that line with the extra push. They might have got it. They got to down the ball now. There's no timeouts. They got to down the ball. Right. And Hilltop pushes over, gets the first down. And Hilltop will take your third and final timeout with 17 seconds remaining. They have time to go for one pass into the end zone. Lancers have time to go for one pass into the end zone. They have 17 seconds remaining on the clock. So let's see this One pass deep into the end zone. Get the ball off quick. If they get it, they got the touchdown. If not, their field goal kicker, ladies and gentlemen, has been practicing from the 30-yard line and has made some. However, they need to get that ball and keep it where it's at towards the center of the field. When it's to the right or left, he's still learning to either pull or push. So let's see what we do. They might just kind of try to push the ball forward another couple yards in the middle. Let's see what they do here. Actually, they don't have any time left, so they've got to go deep or get out of bounds. Washington is in the backfield. I'm hoping they're going to use it for blocking and not run the ball with no timeout. Let's see what happens here. There he is for blocking. 
Oh, 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 he's going down, and they just took him out of field goal position. Who got the who got sack? El Cap on the sack. He got it, he got it, he got it. Okay, we're gonna see what the officials say. He had the ball put down before the clock ran out. We definitely don't have a home field clock running right now. Mr. And no, the home field clock killed us. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna say that he did not get the ball down in time. He did, we watched it. It still had, it was at the one second mark. And so it is the halftime with Hilltop leading seven to zero. All right, we're gonna keep the clock running for you. We're gonna put it right here on the scoreboard so you guys can see what's going on. And we will be back afterwards for the second half. We get the ball too. Unplug the microphone. All right, so you're in there, you're kicking butt, you're getting the stuff done. The inspectors in San Diego yes. are loving you. How many different inspectors have you guys had to work with? Uh, three. Okay, so they're getting the word around. These guys know what they're doing, especially in that area. Yes, and it's not so much. And then, so we go save this other job, right? Save another investor. Save okay, so, so you're buying homes and flipping them. Not necessarily me by well, Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to take this time at halftime. Get yourself over, get something to eat and drink. The world famous bomb dogs are there at the end of the stadium underneath the canopies. And ladies and gentlemen, this time last week, they were sold out. Let's see how they're doing right now. And we got the carne asada tacos for the cheerleaders. And the ASB student body selling all the snacks you can think of. And then Kona Ice at the south. For the West End, we'll get our money their so, Now, ladies and gentlemen, well, let's go ahead and celebrate senior night for our Lancer Band Emerald Effect under the lead of director, Mr. Russell Oh, yeah. Easy. Dude, you can make 150, 200 grand. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Well, let's go ahead and start off with our first senior. So, you're... Miss Alma Guzman. On the right, I am grateful for them for being such a fun class and for everyone who makes it that way. Take the opportunity to be your best. Stay true to yourself. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Alma Guzman. My dad you. We just kept on writing, so I know how to do everything. Next up, Corey Villanueva. I just want to say I'm thankful for Mr. Corpus for the past four years and the friends I made in these classes. In any class I had where he was the music director, it was easy to learn. I'm sad that I'm a senior. This is my last year. Thank you to everyone in band. That's my friend and that I've met. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Villanueva. Next up, senior Noah Partida. These past four years have taught me a valuable lesson. Going through high school, I thought it was unpredictable and all over the place. That even with the help of my wonderful family and friends, it was somehow messy. But now that I'm starting, staring at the real world, ready to start off the next chapter of my story, I realize something. Life is messy, but at the end of the day, it makes things a little more interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, Noah and Martina. Next up, Irene Franco. I'm happy to have spent the time I have with the band, and I'm grateful to spend the rest of my senior year practicing something I love. I hope to make some more great memories with the time that I have. Thank you to my parents for giving me the opportunity to share my love. I hope the best for the growth of the band as well as the best for the future of the students of Hilltop. Thank you all for listening. Senior Irene Franco. Next up, he man will shoot. Hey, it's been one hell of a ride, huh? It's been four years already. My thanks goes to those who have helped me get to where I am today. Hopefully, 
I have left my mark on the school and all the people in the band. Let's make the next couple of months the best we can. Ladies and gentlemen, he Manuel Shoot. Next up, Audrey Ramirez Quinones. I've been in band for four years. I want to thank my parents for their support and encouragement throughout my music career. Thank you, Mr. Corpus, for inspiring me and to show me more of the music world. And thank you to Hilltop Emerald Event for motivating me to do the best I can as a leader and most importantly, as a friend. I look forward to pushing forward throughout this year and whatever else follows after. Ladies and gentlemen, Audrey Ramirez Quinones. Next up. Natalie Kenya. Hi, it's Natalie and I can't believe it's already my final year. I am so proud of everyone. I know everyone who pushes through and everyone who tries their hardest. It's been a long, lovely road, so I'm appreciative of all my friends, teachers, and most importantly of all, my wonderful mothers. I cannot wait for the future home. Ladies and gentlemen, Natalie Kenya. Next up. Viola Martinez. This speech is dedicated to the band. Thank you for these four years. Embarrassingly enough, band was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Lorraine Diosa, one of the most dedicated people I've had in the honor of growing up with. Thank you for everything, Miss President. Even bigger thanks to an inspiration, Mr. Corpus, who has put his heart and soul into building this band and inspires me to continue doing music. Most importantly, thank you, band, every single one of you that I've had the pleasure to spend countless hours laughing, crying, sweating, and playing. What our most important passion about? Thank you so much, Vice President Viola Martinez. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, your president, Lorraine Diosa. Hey, I'm going to practice Lorraine, your band president. I'd like to thank Mr. Corpus for pushing for the success of this band from day one. And Viola Martinez, who I've been fortunate enough to lead with as my right hand, together as a strong voice for the diverse talents that music can bring. The past four years have been some of the most fulfilling and memorable experiences of my life, and I'm honored to call myself the leader of this band family. I am so proud of each and every one of you, and I push for you to continue to strive to learn, to thrive, and to be better every day. I hope we can make my last year with you all a great one with both faces and you, and to have pride and excellence. A huge thank you to all of you for making my experience at band one of the best, and I'll carry the name of the through the journey that comes ahead. Love you all. Good job, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine Diosa. And once again, thank you to Mr. Mr. Russell Corpus, band director, and his senior class, 2023. A different group is... Hey, Pete. How are you doing? My wife's bringing you a coat and a jacket and a jacket. I'll be up here. I'll be up here.
Check on the kids down here. Yeah. Let's go, 
Okay. He gets him free because he does this. Down. That thing hurts my ass. Is it flooded? Is it flooded? I know. Because this is the this is the monsoon season. Kick off for the second half. No cap. Getting ready to kick off to you, Lancers. Kick off. 
Adrian cut his hair yet? Huh? Adrian cut his hair yet? I had a tough father and I said no. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and paint a picture for you. We're getting ready to start the second half. Hilltop with the first team with possession, with a seven point lead. There we go. Hilltop with the receiver to your deep right of your side. Run up top to the left. Man in motion. Garcia's going to hold it. He's going to look for a hole. He's going to get tackled for for an extra few yards. It'll be a pickup of two. Garcia holds the ball, gets about two on the play. On the tackle, number 13, Dominic Denhoff or El Cap. Oh, it looks like it might be three yards on the All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for staying with us. Again, if you are joining us from Hilltop, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps us keep going. We are 1121 to go. Let's talk about 7-0. Garcia under center. That's George Garcia with the ball pushing forward. Garcia's a little slow to get up. Garcia come off for a play. If they stop the clock on him, he has to come off for just one. Coming in. Coming in the quarterback. For the answer, that's number nine, Isaac Nomez. Nomez. Nomez will probably be in for one snap. Maybe an extra one. We'll see. They're taking a quick look at Garcia. Looks like he has a little bit of blood going on. We're going to have a false start for the Lancers. That'll be a flag against the Lancers. False start. Number 52, Nicholas Lea. Holy God. It's flooding there, dude. Like, rain like two feet in one day. That's Nick Moore for the Lancers. Okay, Hilltop. Fourth down. First time the punting unit has come in today for the Lancers. Mr. Porter, John. Uh, Garcia has been taunting the quarterback. He punted the one time yesterday, or last week. There's the punt. It's high. Doesn't go far. It takes a Lancer bounce. That's what you want to see. It's going to get a good 15 yards or so on that bounce. That's the way And the Lancer's punt. Is high and short, but takes a Lancer's bounce and rolls another 15 yards down to the El Capitan 33 yard line. They have the left and roll. Coach is good. That's what I call a little rock and roll, Coach. Come on, back! Yeah, and a bound. Hey, 
starts off striding off, not making the best decisions already. Personal foul against the Lancers, they'll walk off on that for 15 yards after the play. That'll take it down into Lancer territory. It'll be first and 10 for El Capitan at the Lancers. Okay, El Capitan, three receivers to the bottom right of your screen, one to the top. One running back right here to the right of the quarterback, Newland. Back to pass, looking right, throwing right. Oh, short throw. Lilith's pass is incomplete. Intended receiver, La Chapa. That'll bring up second down and 10 for El Cap. Okay, I got scared. I have it on my phone. Pass to the left. Complete. No one's pass is complete to the left. Good for six yards, we'll bring out third down and four for the foul. Let's go, D! Nolan under pressure, scrambling, passing, man, open, wide open. Newland scrambling in the backfield, puts the pass off. That's good for a first down. However, we do have a flag on the field. Personal foul. And the Lancer defense is really starting to fall apart with some mental mistakes there. The penalty will go against the Lancers. Personal foul. Can't do that. What do they do? It's going to be half the distance, so maybe I'm not sure. Well, they're outside the 20, so it should only be 15 or. Come on, defense! Give me 10 yards. That the the goal. All right, with that penalty, they'll set up first and goal. Let's go, let's go! Sabrina Calera, please tell us what you're talking about. Fix the camera, and we'll be able to help you. On our screen, everything looks great. Pass is incomplete. We'll bring up second down and goal from the 10 yard line. Is your screen black? Is it blurry? Or what's the situation where we know we're happy to help you? Uh, sorry, Dondo. Class of 21 here. There we go. Rolling out. Bill Tom had him in the backfield. Broke two tackles and finally takes them down. Newland goes down with the sack, loses about three yards on the play, and somebody lost a shoe. Nope, they're going to give him a loss of one yard on the play. One official on the side has three, the one in the middle gives him one. That's okay, here we go.
third and goal from the 11. El Cap. Four receivers, one running back in the back. A quarterback was looking the opposite direction. Let's see, pass into the end zone, out of the end zone, incomplete. Nolan's pass is incomplete. We'll bring up fourth down and goal from the 11. or do you want it a little in more? All right, here we go. Lancers first and 10 deep in their own territory. George Garcia with the quarterback keeper. It'll bring up second down and one for the Lancers. That's all you had to say was too zoomed in. And you don't say anything besides fix the camera. We have no idea what you're talking about. Thank you so much. Here we go. Man in motion. Garcia with the run again. George Garcia with the quarterback keeper. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Lancers first down. All right, Bash, Sebastian Calera coming on in. Spelling Tyron Washington. Calera will bring in the play for Garcia. Here we go, Lancers, if you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, 551 remaining in the third quarter. The score is seven to zero. Hilltop with the lead. It has been an exciting game, however, it has not been a scoring game. Alright, pushing up through the middle, gain of about two. Hilltop is winning seven to zero. Gain of about two on that play. Garcia with the button. Coming to the game, number four, Rio Nava for the Lancers. Here you go, Hilltop. Nava down low to the right of your screen. Two receivers, one on the top, one on the bottom. Garcia under center. Running back, set back, man in motion. Garcia, quick pass, blocked, oh, incomplete. This has been 10 years here, is that seven out of Yeah. Garcia's pass is incomplete, intended receiver, number seven, Isaac Meza. That'll bring up a third down for the Lancers. This will be about third down and seven. Third down and seven for the Lancers. Garcia looking for something. They are trying to strip that ball like crazy. 
Fourth down. Garcia takes it himself, gets to the left side, gets up close to the first down marker. And it'll be fourth down and close for the Lancers. Absolutely, there's more world famous bomb dogs. Uh, we had a supply back in the snack bar. They went and grabbed more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good news. They just restocked some bomb dogs. If you're still hungry and you were waiting, head on over. There's more bomb dogs on the grill. All right, here we go. Hilltop's going to go for it on fourth and down. Are they going to try to get them to approach? Bill Top is trying to do a call, get them all sides. Getting the approach did not work. It is all right. Bring it in the front to you. That's a much better punt this time. It's received at about the 45 for the Lancers, taken down to about the 39. He returned it. All right, El Cam with the punt return at about the 45 for the Lancers, and brings it down to the 38. Seven yards on that punt return. We'll set up the best start to the offensive series for El Cam. First and ten on the Lancers 38, and at quarterback number seven, Grant Darker. He started the game. Darker has three receivers. Quick handoff to Diaz. That's number 24, leading the way. Leading the way on that tackle, number 24, Adrian Martinez.
All right, Hilltop with the ball. It is first and ten. Little better field position where they started last time. They're on their own nine yard line. It is happy birthday, Miss Espinoza. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Espinoza is tuning in. And it's her 29th birthday. We want to wish her all the best. One of our best teachers here at Hilltop High School. That is one of the special ones, ladies and gentlemen. She goes way out of the way to help kids. Wishing you all the best, Miss Espinoza. It is 7 to 0 Hilltop. 140 remaining in the first quarter. Got a yard burn on the play. By the way, I'm already calling it right now. I'm nominating Espinoza for Teacher of the Year. There you go. I second that motion. That's two of them right now. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Unsung hero that does so much behind the scenes. No oh, Capitan defense getting in there strong. Hilltop looking at a third down and about 10. This is starting to become a defensive battle all of a sudden. We saw Hilltop's defense do a great job last week. And they started to tire out towards the third and fourth quarter. And this is the time that we need them out. Here on the offense, Chelsea under center. This is the same play over and over again. Flag on the play. Hopefully that's not against the Lancers. So that's just too many already. Let's see what we got. explanation. It was a sideline warning against the Lancers. Something going on on the sideline. Probably some chirping by the coaches or players. Um, it's just a warning, as we said. It does not come with, with uh, yardage or anything. The second one will. Top set to punt. Same guy. He's, he's punting. Good punt. Punt is up. 
Hunt at the 44 and tackled oh, right away. What a beautiful tackle. Let's see at the 44 tackled right away. That's number five, Damien Zapata. All right, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Fourth quarter, Hilltop up 7-0. It is still a very close game. El Cap with another nice field position in on Lancer territory. Newland back in the quarterback. Quick pass to the right side. Right down close to the first down marker. Newland's pass to the right side. Gains about eight yards on the play. Brings up second down and two. Yeah, I don't know why they keep going to the face. Yeah, that, as, as Coach Schertry just said, that play has been open all day for the back yellows. Newland, looking, he's looking long, has a man, and in and out of his hands. Newland's pass to the right side is incomplete. In and out of the hands, is that the chopper? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the chopper? Yes. Yeah, the pass is behind him. That'll bring up third down and two. As we've already seen, this is four down territory for El Paso, especially in the fourth quarter down by one touchdown. Oh, yeah. Let's. Had him. Got him. Four down. That's number 12 on the run. Number 18. Jason Brock. On the tackle, number 18, Tyron Washington. Good discipline this team. Last game, very disciplined. But that's going to be a personal foul against the Lancers. Right in front of him. Pass had a guy that, as Coach Gentry has called it, has been open all day long. Touchdown, Hilltop Baton! And we do have a flag on the field. Might have been after the touchdown. No, going back. We'll see what's going on. Going back. But, dude, that's been going on all, they're all about the rush. That's great. But you're not picking up that good old game. Just tuning in at a 7 0 Hilltop. It's going to be a first down, but it's going to come back. He's going to touch him. Oh, he did. Touchdown. After the play, he's supposed to light. And the touchdown counts. It is an unsportsmanlike penalty after the play. Back for what time we did. Well, he blitzed. Are they going to go for two? Two. All right, El Cap is going to go for two on the road. 10-25 and a 7-6 Hilltop. Here we go. They're looking. They have him out to the right. Still have an incomplete. El Capitan goes for two. And the last defense holds. And with 10-25, Hilltop seven. El Capitan six. That is a huge play. That was a very risky call. What did they say? On the road, you go for a tie. At home, you go for the win. Hey, that coach tried. Yep, that coach tried for it. Did not get it. He'll talk up by one. But ladies and gentlemen, we have lots of time left. 
It is 10.25. It is 10.25 remaining. Hilltop is up by one. And the unsportsmanlike penalty was against the Lancer, so El Cap is going to kick off from the Lancer's 45. To the onside. Heck yeah. Hilltop hasn't moved the ball on offense since the first half. See if they go for the onside kick. They're deep in Hilltop territory. No, nope, he's just gonna pump. And he doesn't get it in the end zone. Did we want to do this? No! You're catching the ball on the goal line. If you don't think you can get past the 20, you just let it go in the end zone. Now Hilltop, and that's a rookie move. That's a mistake there. You don't catch the ball on the goal line. Welcome to the Hilltop Press Box, Coach. Your wider angle is going to give you this wall. Okay, Hilltop once again is falling apart. The penalties are stacking up and they're going to hurt and they're starting to right now. Holding against the Lancers. You've had multiple personal fouls. Multiple personal fouls. Hilltop had a ball first and ten on their own. It's right there between the seven and eight. Line. Right off the field. Garcia is sacked. Garcia is sacked for a loss. Share the ball! Brought it all the way back to about the five yard line. Loss of about two on the play. Bring up second down and 12. Pass is incomplete, under a lot of pressure, brings up third down. It'll bring up third down and 12 for the Lancers. That'll bring up third down and 12 for the Lancers. Uh, the headline 
Alex from the club. All right, here we go. Second down and eight for the Lancers. Garcia under center. And off. Garcia's hand up to the 34 for the Lancers. That's Luis Mendoza. You see what's on the top? I can't believe the numbers, man. Let's go! Let's bring up the third down and two for the Lancers. need to score however they do need to keep possession in order to do that these two three yard gains at a time is all they need burn down no cap with a heavy front line Garcia drops the ball jumps on it Ball loose on the field, looks like, yep, Lancers Garcia jumps on it. Loss of one on the play, bring up second down and 11. Oh my goodness. 
goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, here we go. He falls, ball goes through, sorry, the bad snap through his legs. He goes to grab it, he turns and just chucks the ball downfield. Close to getting intercepted, close to being caught. Incomplete. El Cap has a great Come on, you got a hole! <laughs> Five seventeen remaining. The score is seven to six. Hilltop up by one. El Cap just got a beautiful break in that quarterback number seven. Grant Parker. There's another quick dump pass. Make a screen. Come on, Hilltop! Grant with the screen pass. Good for El Capitan first down. Come on, And as Coach Chantry has been calling, that play has been wide open all day. Just a matter of connecting to it, reading it. Yeah. I mean, they got to read, read it. They got to know that they're letting the defensive guys come in. He's looking end zone, and it's incomplete. Pass is incomplete out of the end zone. We'll bring up second and ten. It's 4:31. Clock is stopped. We'll top up by one, seven to six. Able to Cameron Hayward 
with the field goal. And with that field goal at 3.58 remaining, Bellcap takes the lead 9-7. That's a field goal. Field goal for us. So let's see how we do it. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes basically remaining on the clock. It's 358. He'll top down by two. Not on the eight yard line. Gets to the 20, to the 25. We're going to mark it at the 26. Depends on which sideline judge you use. One's on the 25, one's on the 26. Who was the guy that returned the course? Bill Tom for the kickoff return up to the 26 yard line. Alright, here we go. 352 remaining. Hilltop trailing by two with the ball at home versus El Capitan. Number nine, Isaac Nomas. To the left side has a man. Tackle, but he kept the speed, he would have been off the races for a touchdown. Garcia keeps it himself, gets down to the 22 yard line, brings up a second down and two. Two. 54 remaining in the game, just under three minutes, down by two. Hilltop's finally gone to the passing game. They've had a little success. They haven't really used it today. I hear. And off. Time for a timeout. Coach says keep the clock running, so they're going to. Need the first down, but we are in field goal position. Field goal range for this young man. But as a freshman, a lot of pressure. Kickers have a lot of pressure right in the game. Here we go. What a beautiful play call! Garcia pulls it back, passes it up the middle. Good for a Lancers! First down! Who's that? Who's that? 
we've been using um, our receivers aren't too tall. 122 remaining in the game. Hilltop trailing by two points. Fumble on the field. Bubble on the field. El Capitan recovers with 113. There looks to be the game. A fumble between a uh, miscommunication, missnap between the center and the quarterback. And El Cap recovers with 113 remaining. They will have the ball. Chris, is that a little snap? Yes. It's a bad snap. It was the transition between center and quarterback. And now you have, if they're smart, they're just going to take a knee. Yeah, it's ball game. It's ball game. Surprise, surprise. And I'll hug the middle for a down. Why in the world would you not take a knee? Well, it's 106, three timeouts, yeah. They just want to. Take it a first down here. That's how I do it. I'm out on the field, called home by Bill Tucker. Yeah. 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 Well, they didn't take a knee because they took that three timeouts. Yeah, that's fine. They got to get the first down. Yes. He never gets tackled. He goes in for the touchdown. Yep. I was going to say that earlier. <laughs> okay, it's a beautiful catch. It's a beautiful throw. You get a great first down. Give them both credit for that. Correct. But you did kind of slow your run down when you caught the ball. Yep. Yeah, I caught him. The other thing is, yeah, the other thing is you take that quick jump once you catch it, because that guy's running straight out to your guy and you take that quick move. That's a bummer, Dave. This is a game. I'll get back on it. Damage and little things here and there. Yeah. 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 Most, uh, mountain snap. Hill tops. Needs an interception. They're not going to pass the ball. Strip the ball. First down, El Capitan. And a timeout for Hilltop. Wait, Pop, I 